Let's get you up and running with your MMDVM hat and your USB to serial converter. M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So we've got the USB to serial converter here that we're using as a hotspot. Someone's asked me to sort of do a close up of how I connect the pins. So let's take them all off. You've got three volt is the M1 here. It's a bit reflecty, but three volt. Then you've got next one up is TX, RX, and then ground. Ignore the five volt, you're not using five volt, five volt. So as a live, we're going to use purple. Okay, so that's going on our three volt. Then as a ground, we're going to use the blue one. Okay, that's going on our ground. Then we want to connect to RX and TX. So let's use yellow as the RX, which goes quite fiddly. Now the wires you use are like are these GPIO pins. One end has a pin, the other end doesn't. Okay, it's a bit blurry. So let's just put the TX on the yellow. And on the actual MMDVM hat, it's the opposite. You do the opposite. So the RX is on the green. So that's our dongle connected. Let's see if we can get a better. There you are, it's a bit clearer. That's our dongle connected. So live three volt, TX yellow, RX green, and then ground we've got blue. Now we go to the hat. So the way it works with the hat is what you want to do is you're only using the left block. The right block is redundant, okay? So it's the block under, above the antenna. So once you've got the block facing you this way, I'm gonna show you where to put your pins. First of all, let's do our live. So the live goes in this one here, top, top, basically the top one, okay? The one nearest the back, and that's in. Then we want to add our ground. As soon as you add this ground, if it was connected to the USB on your PC, it will turn on. So then we want it to TX and RX. Now remember, we want it opposite to, to our dongle. And our dongle, the yellow wire is TX. The yellow wire is TX. So we need to put that onto RX. The RX wire is next to the ground. And this will go for many hats. But I'm using the very common MMDVM hat. You don't need an OLED screen for this. So there you are. So we've now got that. Now we want to put the TX. So RX on the RX on this part, which as you can see is sort of greeny color, goes here. So once you've got them connected, like so, keep trying to get a focus. Then all you do then is plug in the dongle and fire up blue DV. And then it's just a matter of adding the settings on blue DV. Let's add that. I'll just go down to the PC now and show you those settings. Once you've downloaded blue DV, just go to menu setup. You just put your core sign here, right click your device manager. You've got the device plugged in device manager. Double click and it will say here, Silicon Labs. We're using the CP2102 USB converter. So we've got COM number six. We'll just put COM six there. And then we're on Fusion. So down here, we've got our Fusion setup. We've put CQ UK and we've put in the frequency here. Very important, 431550. But it, we've got one, two, three. I think it's four zeros there. Otherwise, it won't go in. Obviously, you put in the frequency you're going to use. Call sign. If you're using DMR, put your DMR number in here. But right now, we're using Fusion. You can tell it to start up straight away by ticking one of these boxes. Enable it, start on Fusion, DMR, or D-Star. Take your pick. On D-Star, you can select the module as well. You can put in your location. And that's it. So if you click Save, and now we click turn it on if it works and is connected correctly you will see it say mmdvm hat dot version one got the frequency there and then to connect to fusion 
put on the slider there. There's the slider turned on. And then you can select from a drop round, drop down list here. And once you've selected it, just click link. And with a bit of luck, no one is speaking. It will link in and you shall hear it. There you go. And if you want to change, just drop down, choose something else, and link, and it will swap. And that's it. Bye for now. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe or like 73.